Three, two, one. Think of the history of this carnival. Which horse, jockey or performance stands out above the rest? Peter Moody, Stradbroke Day, 2012. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, yeah. Good to go. The obvious answer is Rough Habit, but you'll get that a hundred times. Is Rough Habit. Papa Cassidy on Rough Habit. Uh, yeah, mine would be uh, Rough Habit. Uh, rough Habit for mine. He came over from New Zealand year after year, looked like a hairy goat. Had no hope of winning, he was gone, no hope. Rough Habit moved up, grabbed the lead and he's won the Stradbroke. Dead last from the corner and uh, weaves through the field. Amazing win, it's uh, one for the history books for me. Performance when he won the, the Stradbroke handicap from, from right back, nearly last on the fence, although that was probably the, one of the things that stands out to me. So it's fresh in the mind, but I think Alligator Blood. Alligator Blood, right down the centre of the track, has won the Stradbroke. Uh, coming back from all sorts of issues and winning the Stradbroke for Gay Waterhouse, giving her her first Stradbroke. Burnborough, didn't he win the Durban 10,000? Burnborough, idol of the Australian turf. Burnborough, champion of champions and the greatest performer. There you go, that'll do. Burnborough. The only thing I can think that would match that would be when Black Caviar won the BTC Cup in 2011. Start number 13, unlucky for some, not for this one. Black Caviar, right? Huge crowd, great atmosphere, without a doubt.